I can recall the very few times I found myself staring at the ceiling for a while after watching a show. One was with Evangelion, another was with Welcome to the NHK, and the other one was with 5 centimeters per second. And one common thing I can say about all these titles is that it made a huge impression on how I look at life. Now this time in particular was a short manga I just read a day ago. 3 Days of Happiness or I Sold My Life for 10,000 Yen Per Year, a manga I'm gonna talk about and wholeheartedly recommend you to read. Kusunoki is a 20 year old guy who's having a rough time in his life. Broke, lonely, working in a dead-end job, struggling to make ends meet, and has run out of anything to eat. One day while trying to sell the few things he has left for some quick money, he hears about this place where he can sell his lifespan, health, or time for actual money. A skeptical but desperate, he decides to give it a shot. I mean, everybody says that someone's life is priceless, and in the case on putting someone's life a price, it surely would worth a good amount of money. 1 million yen, 300 million per year, 3 billion maybe, 300,000. 300,000 for the remainder of his lifespan. Which for my friends on the other side of the pond, that would be $2,243.27. Finding out that his life worth so little, that he has no real motivations or aspirations for the future, and that he only has 30 years and 3 months left to live, Kusunoki decides to sell off his 30 years for 10,000 yen for every year of his remaining life, leaving him with only 3 months left to live. For an individual knowing exactly how long they have left to live might cause them to do some crazy things, like making a real life fight club or using up your acquired money on CSGO loot boxes for a pixel knife. So to avoid this, Kusunoki has been assigned to an observer who turns out to be the store clerk he sold his life to, a girl called Miyagi who keeps him in check until his last remaining days. From this point, the story goes into an introspective journey where the main character goes into reflecting on his own life and how did he get to this point of the story, visiting places that meant something to him, looking back on his journey and figuring out the meaning of happiness and the value of life. Because how do we measure a person's worth? Are we looking at how much he contributes to society? How much happiness is in their life? How much happiness brings to others? How much has this XY individual has achieved in life? These are questions 3 days of happiness made me think while reading it, and the more I think about it, the more unclear it is. And for an individual like Kusunoki, knowing that your life worth so little and having sold almost the entire remainder of his life, he has a limit to come to terms with all of his life regrets and work on how he's going to spend the rest of his days. For a manga that is only 16 chapters, it has the right pacing to tell everything that needs to be told. A story that I found personally relatable Maybe because it's about a guy in his 20s trying to figure out what to do in life before he dies. This is a character who feels lost and for anyone who's gone or going through their 20s knows exactly that going through this period of life you can't help but to feel lost. You go through 18 years in school without giving it too much thought and suddenly you get thrown into the mid grinder of real life where you gotta find a career, be responsible on your own life and now you have to pay freaking taxes. One day you wake up with an age where you are expected to get everything figured out, know exactly what path to go in life and you feel that you're getting behind and life is not going the way you want it to and it's totally terrifying. Kusunoki is an individual who was talented at drawing, he had potential, he had had goals, but somewhere along the line he led himself into a path where he shut himself off from everything, and without knowing, he hurt the people closest to him and sadly, he realized that the happiest he has ever been was when he was 10. The more he reflects on life, the more mistakes he's realized he's made to get where he's now, and it was with his conversations and interactions with Miyagi what helped him to put things into perspective. She's also lonely and equally lost as the main character in a different different way. Someone who became cold and distant due to her line of work and throughout the course of the story, a strong bond blooms out of their shared loneliness. But what really hit me the hardest was that Kusunoki is not an individual whose life worth so little because of external factors like some big life event that led his life to go south or some other person to blame for all of his shortcomings. He is the reason why his life is the way it is. It was his own decisions, actions, or the lack of it, what sent him down to this path of purposelessness. This story goes into exploring the concepts of fulfillment and happiness and what it really means to find value in your own life. 
I find really beautiful and poetic that Kusunoki, by selling his life, is what allowed him to find meaning and purpose in his life. He was at his lowest point but managed to get up on his feet thanks to Miyagi. He felt more alive in 3 months than he ever would have in 30 years, brought happiness to the people around him and made few friends more than he would have dreamed of in his previous life. Perhaps Kusunoki's life worths very little, but for the people who are close to him and that is Miyagi, his value worths billions, if not priceless. Does 3 days of happiness answer the question of how do you determine someone's life value? No, but this manga invites you to think upon this question and might help you to put things into perspective and the story ends up with one of the most beautiful life messages I've ever seen in a manga. It's an obvious one that you might have heard millions of times whether it's from movies, your parents, or school, but sometimes we need these type of stories to put things into perspective and think about it. And that's what this manga did for me. Personally, never in my life I've seen myself so reflected into the main character's situation and as I said from the beginning of this video, after I finished reading the last page, I had to pause for a moment and try to process everything. Three Days of Happiness is a thought-provoking manga where the question of one's worth is something that we have asked ourselves at some point and surely your answer to that question may differ from mine. But if there is something that is the same for everyone is that the only who can make a difference on that value is you. You are the one who can make a difference in your life and how much value goes into it. And in the words of the manga, it doesn't really matter if you think that you don't contribute or how worthless your life is. That doesn't have to define what your future will be since all of us have the potential to do something for ourselves. And unlike Kusunoki, you don't have to sell your health, your lifespan, or your time to come to the same realization as him. You can make a difference on that value. You can find the value starting now. I guess this manga came to me at the right moment with a very important story capable to leave a mark in people and teach us something about us. One that I hope you appreciate as much as I do.